G'day. Here I am today making the cleats for the bigger brackets. So this is the second bracket I'm making and uh, it's taking quite a while because I need to learn how to use an oxy. It's the first time I've uh, used an uh, oxyacetylene kit. And all I wanted to say was uh, that you can go and watch um, all the videos on YouTube on uh, on oxyacetylene welding. I found uh, the ones by Bob Moffat at weld.com to be the uh, the most informative. Um, but this is just the one thing I wanted to say. Um, so when you when you start when you watch these other videos you'll see they talk about setting the flame up uh, and all the rest of it. I think the thing that they don't notice the biggest difference I've uh, found today in doing a cut like that which is acceptable it's not too bad compared to something like that that's bloody terrible is when you just have your acetylene going and they say turn it off, turn it up until the slip goes away. What I've found today is turn it up until it just goes away. Don't go too far over. That has been the difference between a cut like that and, and that abomination that I didn't even know. Yeah, it's even worse on the other side. I didn't even get through it. And the only difference was, I think, that I had the acetylene up too high. So that's all I wanted to say. This, uh, so hopefully we'll have the bracket made tomorrow. It's going to take me all day to make these, make these cleats. So you can see here, that one on the top, the last one, it isn't too bad. Uh, the rest are, I haven't cleaned them up at all, but the varying, varying quality. You can see here I... Uh, I got a bit stuck but the rest the rest is I'm pretty happy with and here's the rejects where I was still learning and just making a pig's breakfast of it all so um, yes yeah, so that's the biggest thing I've I think I've taken uh, I've learnt by myself today is turn the acetylene up until it's just sooty uh, until it's just no longer sooty and then adjust your oxygen uh, to suit as per all the other videos you can watch uh, I'm certainly not going to give a, a, a tutorial on oxy cutting yet since I know very little about it but um, but that was the just the point that I wanted to make that seems to be the big difference between me uh, not cutting very well at all and doing something that's yeah, not not too bad not too bad so okay thanks for watching and hopefully uh, in the next uh, few days we'll get these uh, these brackets done